What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel Beast Show. If it's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. And if y'all are not receiving my brand new upload notifications, make sure you go to my channel where it says subscribe and change the bell to all instead of personalized. Also, make sure you don't forget to follow me on Instagram at official Lionel B and follow my other YouTube channel, Lionel B Unleashed. Now the OG Crip Big U decided to take a trip straight into a blood neighborhood in Harlem. Y'all check out this footage right here, man. He was actually caught on camera and he was on Instagram live walking all through the hood with Jim Jones. Y'all check this out. Hey, go careful. Oh, that nigga's a beast. He never lost line with the camera. The camera never lost line. That man was supposed to get out of football pads. He had a football, football career. We are with Capo, you did? Yeah, ain't nobody still on this motherfucker. <laughs> Niggas is like it. We outside, man. Come outside, get this love. New York City? Tell them they get the rope. This, this, this is right here is Foster Project. This the first, this, this the first blood project school in the city. <laughs> All right. This where this this where this thing started at for us in Harlem. Right here. How many how many how many units is these? Four floors. They got 13 floors, right? They got 13 floors. My my project is on the next avenue. They got 19 floors on my project. The project in the back of that, like, for all of them is high floors. They got to make a whole. They got to be a different kind of nigga to make a name. You got 13 floors of different motherfuckers to make your day. Like 20 apartments, with, like 10 apartments on each floor. How many phase a week do you get? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Think a whole family got to get a phase. Yeah, nah, this, 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 this man go there and just play in the shoes. You got to let me stay. You made your name for yourself, either basketball, or you had to do it. Firing. Tough, firing, or you was getting money. You heard? Excuse me, fam. And then you had the spectators that just knew everybody. That was that was one in one of those in one of those categories and shit like that. But... Look at this part. When I first moved here from the Bronx, I moved with my grandmother. She moved to Fifth Avenue. My cousin Doe lived in this in this building right here, nigga. I'd be scared to come outside and just come to this building, nigga. That's about hundred less than a hundred steps from the avenue. He used to come outside and come get me and one day he said, I'm not walking through the projects no more. Man, you fucking the fuck out. You <laughs> heard Tans? Yeah. I used to be nervous as hell. Nervous as hell walking through this place. We out here in Brick City, goddammit. Look out here in the peas, you heard? <laughs> Kingdom. We take it to the legendary Kingdom right now. We headed to the King Millions, Zone. Millions was made right here. This legends was made. Yeah. One of the biggest the legends was killed right also here. In the, in, the, in the city. Well, it used to be, they, we just started, they just started, shout to Michelle, she just started it up again this year. Shout out to Queen of Harlem. This is uh, King Dome, but this Who? Is Queen King. of Harlem. Queen of Harlem, she just started sponsoring the whole new, because this yeah, shit had so fell off because of the balance and all that. But you know, Queen of Harlem, she got a lot of brothers out here that love her, so yeah. she put a play together. And, and got, got this got thing back better. jumping again. She definitely do a lot for her. Special thing for the youth and all that. Yeah. This is, this is drug dealer circuit from the 90s. All the biggest drug dealers used to have teams in here lined up in this shit. Big weed blowing, big jewelry, a lot of money, dice games, everything out here. You heard some of the hustlers used to play during the court, like Jim Ice. That nigga Jim Ice was vicious out here. And you ain't want to play with him off the court neither. Like, it's just, this is this is legendary status when it comes to Harlem and shit like that. I mean, for the whole Harlem and shit like that, it's, it's legendary. But for us, this is it. This is where we learn how to play basketball. And you had to be tough playing basketball on this court. I mean, tough, boy. Tough. <laughs> right, tough. Check it boy. in, you know what I mean? Check it in, check it in. Live and check it in. You yeah, did? With Young Capo. 
Yeah, we here, man. We'd have been in this hood all this, day long. This, if you seen the let me his apologies the, better be loud. The let me the let me know video that 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 Cam did years ago. This is it was done in right here when you see all the bloods lined up. That was right here. We had shit. We had the Ferrari park in the middle of this basketball court and shit like that. But then if you you can't see it, but straight through there was my building. So all this shit like connected. But yeah, this is the playground. These buildings got got a lot of good memories and a lot of bad memories. A lot of vicious times and a lot of great times, man. This is where it started at, man. This is where I got, I got I got a lot of my style and charisma from. I definitely learned how to be tough walking through this motherfucker. You heard? I didn't had it. I didn't had enough fights. Pretty pretty nigga with the curly hair from the east side. It had enough fights out here. You heard? I put on for my own self out here. Stop playing with me, big. I was out here. busy. Time, you heard? I had to Low fight a lot of niggas out here. My fist game was terrific. That one thing I can't say, but niggas start playing with them guns. The nigga got. Start picking and choosing like that nigga shoot shit man like all right well maybe <laughs> yeah i did do multiple videos we did that's what i'm talking about he on a different field. He's shining on us right now. He had to, he had to do that to us. He all in the street and all that. They got big you in Harlem, huh? Yeah, we got him in Harlem. We want a different field. Right <laughs> we out here epic. We on the ground. Rose, they got you in Harlem. I'm in Harlem, baby. I'm going to see New Jack City tomorrow. Huh? What you about? I got to get to the corner. I got to see... I got to see the court where uh, uh where Nino jumped out and his brother said, Wait, we brothers <laughs> I gotta see that shit. Rock and Bible. <laughs> we gotta see all that, dude. We had checking in right now, you know? With the legend. What she talking about? <laughs> Nigga, we've been over here all day, you know what I mean? I couldn't hear you. What'd you say? Say that again, buddy. It's raining in the. It's raining in L.A. Yeah, I heard. Are you at Harlem? Yeah. You in Harlem? Yeah, we in Harlem. Right here. I've been over here. I've been here all day. How long you been here for? Uh, two more days. All right, bro. Be safe. Love you, bro. All right, look. Checking in, baby. Checking in. I'm trying to be safe. Oh, it's easy. Peeps, the cryptocurrency market is a billion dollar industry. And I know y'all like Lionel B, every industry is a billion dollar industry. But I'm letting you in on an easy money opportunity with a tiny minimal one-time investment, meaning you'll never pay again. Do you don't want to work forever just to pay bills? Or are you trying to see a meal? Now, members of our team are making thousands of dollars in just four days quick fact if you invested 1k in bitcoin you would now have 10 billion right now now if you invested in ethereum you would have 5.5 million there is a reason why guys like bitcoin rodney can purchase the most expensive his items without worrying about the price tag send me a dm on instagram at official lionel b to get signed up and start doubling your money in just one day Yeah.